Hey guys, it's Sylvia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Hannah and we're going to be talking about Boys World. Um, Hannah, is there anything you want to say about yourself before we start? Um, well, I've been a star for a few months now. I want to say maybe like six or seven, sort of, kind of. Um, I didn't join at the start of when the fandom started to blossom, but I joined right, right after Girlfriends. So, been here for a while. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, so the first question is, can you show us your tattoos and which each one means? <laughs> oh, gosh, the tattoos. Um, so I have this one, which is this One Direction. It's not Boy's World, but that was my first ever tattoo. Um, so I, I have the word tip tattooed on my toe. I'm not going to show you my toes. <laughs> That's just not what's going to happen today. Um, but it's in Alana's ha handwriting. It was kind of a joke. Julian mentioned it in a live stream. Alana commented on it and made it a big deal. So yes, I have the word tip in Alana's handwriting tattooed on my big toe. But again, you're not going to get that exclusive show today. Um, but I, this is the while you were out tattoo. It's kind of hard to present it because my arm turns. Yeah. The while you were out is written in Olivia's handwriting. And then the first tattoo of Boys World I got was this world with a smiley face. And that was from... But Kylie, she posted a picture a while back with her with this fake tattoo. Everybody thought it was real. I stole it from her, got her permission, of course. And she was like, yeah, go for it. So I got it tattooed. Um, and then the second tattoo was the phone with the cord that goes into the wingman with the wings and the halo. Um, and that was obviously for please hold a girlfriend and wingman. Um so please hold is the phone along with girlfriends with the hotline and then the wing and the halos for wingman and I wasn't gonna get another tattoo I was just gonna let that be but then they started dropping tiptoe and I was like man tiptoe is my favorite I really like tiptoe I obviously got the tip tattooed on my toe and then um I have a, a tattoo that has this little magnifying glass that has a question mark in it and um, I don't know if you guys know me from Twitter or not, but I always use like this one little emoji where he kind of like looks like this. And then he has like a little magnifying glass. And I branded that as why do you tiptoe? So I got the magnifying glass kind of resembling that. And then the other ones that are on here, there's the crystals. There's a light bulb. And then there's a little guy falling from the world. And the guy falling from relapse, part of one of the lyrics. The crystals are also from relapse, part of Lillian's lyrics. And the light bulb is from Touched by an Angel. And obviously, you can use the wings for Angel, for Touched by an Angel. You can use the magnifying glass for another lyric and Touched by an Angel. Um, so they all kind of mesh together, which I think is really fun about this tattoo. Mm -hmm. And there will be more in the future. I just don't know how much more. <laughs> that's definitely like amazing like I'm sure the girls were very shocked about that but that's like really cool <laughs> yeah okay. I think or I don't think they expected somebody to just go all out like that but right <laughs> but you did it <laughs> <laughs> okay um how did you find out about the girls um actually it's kind of a funny story so right when they first came together and they like announced their branding on TikTok a few TikToks after my brother found them on TikTok before I did. And he was like, hey, look, Hannah, there's going to be like this new girl group. Like I was still remorsing over Fifth Harmony. Like Fifth Harmony's been my girls. And then when they broke up, like it was it was devastating. And they're like, hey, there's going to be a new girl group. And I, I remember saying this to him and I so regret it now. I was like, do they have any music out? And he goes, no, they're new. And I said, OK, well, tell me again when they have more music out. Like I just wasn't. I wasn't in the mood to get my heart all set in stone and on it and just like go full fledged. Cause again, I'm still crying over fifth harmony. Yeah. Um, but then it was like right before girlfriends, I believe I, I found them call uh, kind of like all individually on Instagram and I started following Olivia first. Um, and then just kind of one by one started following them. And then I didn't really join the fandom until the day after girlfriends. So I don't think I really vibed with them all the way until Girlfriends came out. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about the fandom? About the fandom? Yes. Oh, my God. How quick, how quick everybody can love each other and hate each other at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, 
has been a lot different from like other fandoms that I've been in before. Um, there's a lot of times where we are each other's best friends and, you know, no matter who you are, what, what's going through your mind or what's happening in your life, you know, you have 10 mutuals on boys world Twitter. That's going to hype you up no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really nice about this fandom that we really do all come together. Um, a lot of the times, like we mesh very well. We're very supportive of not only each other, but other girl groups, um, like Citizen Queen and Little Mix. I've seen a lot of them recently. Um, yeah, this man has just been kind of an eye opener. You know, like I didn't, I lost a lot of my real life friends right before joining this fandom. And it was just like so quick. I was so accepted and so loved and appreciated and valued. And that's what I really like about this fandom. Which Boys World YouTube video is your favorite? Oh, God. Uh, the friendship quiz. I wish th- I, they need to do another one. They need to make another one. Has Boys World made a positive impact in your life? If so, how? I would say so. I mean, like I, like I was talking about earlier, I lost a lot of my real life friends all at the same time for um, a very odd circumstance. And... Um, I would say that they, they've, they've given me the positive light of just showing that, like I said, um, it doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, what color your skin, what your values and views are, you can still come together and support this one person and support and lift them up. Mm-hmm. So I guess, I guess they've just had a positive way in my thinking and in my mentality, just because I was a negative person at first and now I feel like through them and through the other people like that, that all stand them that we've, we've all become super positive and uplifting people. What is one thing you love about each of the girls individually? Oh Lord. Okay. I love how memeable Lillian has become recently. She has really, I don't know what has happened recently. I mean, I know she's always been funny, but here recently, it's just like she's blossomed out of the shell and has just become like her true self. And she's, she's cracking me up. Um, so I guess for Lillian, it's the, the meme ability. For Alana, I love how much she just genuinely cares. Like the, it, it could be a total stranger, like someone that she's only talked to once and she, she feels like she's been in your life for years. Um, for McKaylee, she is, oh gosh, how do I explain McKaylee? <laughs> I'm with McKaylee. <laughs> but for McKaylee, I guess just how outgoing she is. And it's, it's kind of remarkable to hear that she was super shy and very introverted as a child, but now she's like, you know, you think of Boys World, you think Makaili is just rainbows and colors and unicorns and loud. And yeah. uh, so with Makaili, I guess it's just how outgoing she is. With Queenie, I love how, this is going to sound so weird at first, but I love how she is like the boss. She's like, all right, here's what we got going on. Stop talking about this. Let's go. Let's move on. We're done. Like she is very like straightforward to the point I guess just how blunt she is I really love that and then with Olivia I I just love the fact that she was on Stan Twitter before so she just knows she just knows like how it works and she all we're all like a united system with her I guess how did you come up with boys world TNZ oh gosh (laughs) oh man you're getting good questions out Uh, (laughs) So there was one day I was posting, I, for those of you who don't know, I record all of the girls' live streams and I was going through some of the live streams and like, I would post like some of the funniest moments on my Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I could really turn this into something like this could be really funny. And so I started taking some of the videos that I was screen recording and just posting them on boys world TMZ with funny captions. This is how it started. Um, but the idea itself started with the sugar babies, which is one of my group chats. And I was like, you know what? I'm really, I'm really determined on turning this into like a real account, like making it like a funny account. And so after I started posting those little videos, one of the girls in the sugar babies, her name's Pam. 
she commented and she was like, let me be the reporter, like send me a video and I'll do a funny report on it. And I was like, okay, look, here's a video, do a report. And she did it. And then we just, we were laughing hysterically for like 15 minutes. Like every, every time we watch it or bring it up, it's just the funniest thing. And so I got a couple other people in on it. Like Priscilla finds, like sometimes when I screen record, I'm busy doing something. So I'm not near my phone or my iPad. So I just have it in the background. Mm -hmm. So Priscilla will be like, hey, they talked about this. It was at this time. Like, let's make a video on this. I'm like, okay. And then Keisha wanted to be a reporter. So I let Keisha start making some videos. And uh, her bloopers are more funny than the actual takes themselves. So I always have to include one of her bloopers in there. It's so funny. Um, But yeah, it's just, it's just, just a funny way to like enjoy their live streams in a different way. That's not negative, but it's also just kind of like low key dragging them, but in a funny way. Yeah, that like, I don't know how you would ever come up with that, but (laughs) that makes my day every single time you guys, because it's so funny. And then it's it's funny. They are great reporters. (laughs) (laughs) They are, they really go above and beyond. It's really funny. Would you say you're obsessed with Boys World? Slash, do you care if somebody calls you obsessed? Um... I mean, I I wouldn't say I'm super obsessed. Like, I don't know if you can see it kind of in the background. I've got One Direction posters or pictures up there. I've got their signatures and other things on my walls. I would say I'm more obsessed with One Direction. But (laughs) I think we're there. I mean, I have a tattoo. So if they called me obsessed, I wouldn't be offended. Um, I have their merch. I bought extra merch because I don't know when this video is coming out. But the day that the girls drop on me, I will be doing a giveaway of the big merch bundle that the girls announced um, on their uh, While You Were Out concert. So mm-hmm. that's going to be fun to watch and see how that goes down. But um, I, w- I would say, I guess, I guess if people would call me obsessed, I wouldn't be offended. But I don't feel like I'm at like an extreme level of obsession yet. <laughs> If that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Which cover that they did was your favorite? Oh boy. But just the one that Kyra likes. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite is Bye Bye Bye. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. Pretty Girl Rock is really good. Um We'll go with Bye Bye Bye, just because we, we we have never gotten the studio version of that, and I'm still upset. Which of the girls' personalities do you think matches yours the most? Olivia. <laughs> um, just because, you know, we're, she's very, like, unironically funny and kind of just posts about her day, like, nonchalant. Um, but I don't know. Who do you think I, I, who do you think I would be? I, I, think, would I think it's a mixture between, like, Queenie, Lillian, and Olivia. Oh, the triple threat. Yeah. <laughs> they need, they need trio name. We need to give all of them trio names. Yeah. Um, which was your favorite music video? Oh, okay. Relapse was my favorite music video. And I'm only saying that because girlfriends and wingman were are very good like they spent a lot of time and a lot of effort in those music videos they spent a lot of money like it, they're, they're they're phenomenal but relapse is good on another level because you get to see like the raw versions of them it was very like raw and open and that's why i like relapse the most who would you want them to collab with Depends if we're still doing the anti-boy movement. I would hope that they would get like maybe Ari or Billie Eilish in there. Um, I think it would also be fun to see them collab with a guy. Like, I don't know what guy. But I think it would be interesting to see how, you know, you have this very feminist girl group make a song with a guy and see how that like blends together. Yeah, That's just. I just, I just kind of want to see how that plays out. But also, you know, up with Saweetie would be really cool. Oh, yeah. Off of their next project, which track are you claiming? Just like a number. I'm going to stick four. four. I, I claim 
four for the EP. I'm going to claim four for the album. Ranking of the While You Were Out EP. Oh, this is, this is easy. Relapse is number one. Then Tiptoe. Touched by Angel is three. Wingman is four. Girlfriends is five. And the only reason why Girlfriends is at the bottom is because when that was the only song it, that was out, I overplayed it. So now when it comes on shuffle, I'll listen to it. But before it was put on the very back burner because I overplayed the crap out of it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a little Would You Rather. Would you rather watch Monsters, Inc. with Alana or watch SpongeBob with Mikhail? SpongeBob with Mikhail. I feel like she would just talk through the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather um, talk about Harry Styles with Olivia or go shopping with Queenie? It has to be Harry Styles with Olivia because I'm a One Direction girl. Um, would you rather spend a day at the studio with the girls or would you rather go shopping with the girls? Spend a day at the studio. I would love to see how studio time works with them. Would you rather have her wear her like, I guess like more grungy look or like here, I have a picture example. Let's pull up her Instagram. Or okay. what she posts, like what the Boys World account posted today, which is like her green outfit. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know. The, the bucket hat era is really taken off with Lillian. So I'm going to I'm going to go with the grungy bucket hat look that she's pulling off recently. Okay. Well, that was the last question. Um, thank you okay. for doing it with me. Do you want to share yeah. anything out? Um, hey, sugar babies. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, Hannah does record all of Boys World's lives or most of them. Um, so I will have her YouTube channel linked in the description. Um, again, thank you for doing this with me. Um, yeah, thank you for letting me come in. That was so fun. I saw you tweet about it and I was like, oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I am so close to 200 subscribers. So please subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Get your family to subscribe. Please just subscribe. If you guys want to do an interview like this, the link will be in the description as well as mine and Hannah's social medias and Boys Worlds too. Make sure to pre-save all me and my reaction to all me will also be when it comes out next week. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed so that way you guys can see that and yeah, that's all. So thank you for watching. I love you so much. Bye.